sometimes it's bad when the going gets tough. Yeah, we look in the mirror and we want to give up. I mentioned earlier that more recently, John Flanagan has been at Burnley and he's been there on loan. And in the mornings, he would head to the training ground and he would share a car with, with uh, Joey Barton. And uh, Joey joins us live this morning. Joey, good morning. Jim, how are you, mate? You okay? I'm good, Joey. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on this hey, this Bob, morning. morning. Bob Mills is with morning, me, so too Ray Parler. Hello. And uh, Joey, let me tell you, an enormous number of people are, are uh, giving their reaction uh, post the case yesterday to the John Flanagan situation. Um, I'm going to ask you straight right away. You know Flanagan. I don't. You've been in his company uh, quite a number of times of late. But aside from that, would you now expect Liverpool Football Club to cancel his contract in view of what has happened? I mean, it's difficult, Jim, in terms of, you know, I, I wasn't there on the, on the evening. I haven't seen um, what's gone on. And the same as you, really, I've seen, you know, the public fallout of... Um, what looks to have been a stupid mistake. Um, yeah. Obviously, it looks like there was alcohol involved. And speaking from experience, I know, you know, for someone who's been in trouble multiple times, you know, he's made a mistake. There's no, no doubt about it. Is he the first footballer to make a mistake? Of course he's not. Um, I know John, I was at Burnley with John, would, would share a car in with him, know, know his family really well. I've been on holiday and they were all on there. And let me just say, first and foremost... Fantastic human being, John Flanagan. One of the best kids you'll, you'll ever come across, hard work and professional. Surprised to see him out drinking. Um, I know you'll be incredibly disappointed with what's gone on, Jim, and, and no doubt his family will be deeply disappointed in him. And, you know, for, for the court, 40 hours of community service and, and et cetera, and et cetera, which is his punishment, and it looks justifiably so. His yeah. family's um, the disappointment in him will will hurt John a lot more than it. And if, if there's ever going to be a remorseful kid, it, it will be John. You know, ask anybody at the pool football club or anybody who's worked with him. He's a fantastic kid. Have you been and in touch with him since yesterday? I just sent him a text. You know, I just said, keep your head up. You know, you've made a mistake. You've got to do a tone for it. And no doubt, John will be trying to do something positive about it. And I think whilst you know he, he's definitely done something wrong, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know, the, the, the process is now, how do you help John reintegrate? How do we help a young player who's not making excuses for him, but he's had a couple of bad injuries. He's gone from being Liverpool's first team, the club that he's come through the youth academy of, into the England set-up almost in the World Cup for the Brazil squad, suffered terrible injuries. And, you know, it affects footballers. I'm not condoning his behaviour because, as I say, you know, it's, it's never right to... Uh, strike out at, at anybody uh, for me, especially a uh, woman. So, yes. you know, the fact that he's got forty hours community service says, you know, he, he's been punished by the by the law of the land, and John's got a lot of atoning and uh, stuff to do around that 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 subject. But I think they should utilise him in a positive manner. You know, use him as an example uh, of how you rehabilitate somebody in that kind of scenario. I mean, in, in terms of cancelling his contract. I yeah, yeah, just talking just before I come on. I mean, it's a, it's a strange one, Jim, because, you know, the, the hypocrisy of the situation, you know, as somebody who's ran foul of uh, the law many times in my younger younger days, you know, I was never sacked. I went to jail for for two months, was, was not sacked. Uh, stepped out of line multiple times, not been sacked. Uh, mm. I'm not the first footballer at all, so there's, there's many, many, many of us. And yeah. it's not for me to... To, to drag that into the public, but speaking from my own experience, you know the fact that you know you got help and you know you forget the young men. Mm. Yeah, they're going to make mistakes. He's twenty five. Do you think there should be more done? Do you think there should be more done from the uh, the PFA trying to help these? Because they are they're in a big bubble, aren't they? You know the money they get, and you know everybody with social media now. Everybody, everybody they're always in the public eye, and you know they, they're well, still well, young well, people, and they still come well, from course, working class. Right. Background, so they're going to make mistakes. Uh, but it's, do they need a bit more help, these guys? Well, well, of course. And look, John's twenty-five, and it's the first mistake he's made. Mm. You know, I've never seen John in trouble before. You know, he's made he made a grave error of, of judgment, no doubt. Alcohol's played a, a big part in it, and I know the kid. Look, he's, he's not a drinker. I've seen yeah. him drink, he's, he's absolutely useless. So I don't know what's gone on, but he's been out and around Christmas, and he's messed up. Um, mm. Does that make him a villain? Should be ostracised from the game? Well, yeah, of course not. 
you know, we've got to help the kid. You know, he's, he's, he's a young kid who there's a duty of care uh, to him. You know, he's, he's a footballer, so is he immune from making mistakes? You know, because he earned X thousand pounds a week or because he plays for the pool, is, is, is he not allowed to make a mistake? Because there's loads of people out there who've argued with the with the partner. You know, mm. still in the relationship with the girl. He's got a lot of atonement to do. With the working on the relationship, from what I gather. Um, it's, it'll be his mum and his sister and his nan. I know, I, I know them well. They'll be absolutely devastated. Mm, absolutely. You know that he's that, that what's going on. The, the, going on Joey, the, the, the thing is, mate, it, it's in such a high-profile position. He's playing for the club he loves. He's a Liverpool boy, and he plays for Liverpool, an institution globally in in the game. Now, I know you well enough to ask you this. I didn't have a radio show when you drew a problem in the street that night. But if I had which one, I've had multiple, Jim. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I, I, I'm not if, really one to to. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I I always think you should support players. I, on, wait, wait, I, it doesn't right. matter. It doesn't matter which one then. But if if I had been on the radio at that stage, no doubt the following morning, after we found out what had happened to you, we'd be, I, would, I would be saying, should Joey Barton be allowed to pull on the football shirt <laughs> again and play for a football club? So yeah, here we are today saying, yeah, it's, it's, it's a valid question. You know, it is a valid question. Um, but the boys are, are, are played, the, you know, this role model tag. I mean, we don't ask for that. You know, we're kids from all different backgrounds, mainly working class backgrounds. Yeah. We just want to play football. You know, we're, when, we're, who teaches you how to behave? You know, you're, and as we're seeing with the hypocrisy of the game, it's all about your commodity value. Mm, That's what absolutely. it's about. So we've got to look at... Let, let's, yeah. just, let's just let's just use Liverpool because it's Liverpool Football Club in in question, Jim. Let's let's just use them as as an example. So, yeah, John Flanagan messes up first time ever in trouble. The fact that he gets forty hours community service kind of tells you at what level the offence is. Um, the fact that it's a tricky situation in terms of kind of domestic violence, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, I don't know what's going on because I'm not I, I went there. But it's not good. You know, it's not it's no. not what a young no, no. A young professional footballer No, it's not doing. good. I think we're all agreed on that. Yes. It's, not, it's yeah. not good at all. Um, so there's no defence of that or, or of John of the situation. So we, 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 we've got to run this out, Jim. We've got to run it out. So we look at, let, let's just use their football club, Luis Suarez, fights another professional player, um, racially abuses another player, is found, uh, is charged, found guilty, not yeah. sacked. Not Joy, I'm just, actually, I'm... Wore, actually, Jim, they wore T-shirts for him. We flipped that out. Stephen Gerrard, club captain, had yeah. a fight in, in South Force, court, etc., etc. Not so. Right. Joy, exactly. Let's just look at Firmino recently, Roberto Firmino, three times over the drink drive limit, driving a car, which is very, very dangerous. That's, that's a, it's a dangerous thing. Not sacked, you know, supported by the club. So, you know, for them to sack John Flanagan over uh, a mistake, mm. it would be down to the fact that the boy isn't in the first team plans and it's a financial commodity based decision yeah. rather than a football decision because if it's a football decision it's hypocrisy but 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 it's a big mistake in the public eye I mean it, it's a high profile mistake made by a high profile player whether whether you like it or not whether Flanagan likes it or not Joey just to finish with what, what, he is a Liverpool Firmino player what's Firmino driving Jim what's Firmino three times over the drink drive limit is that not, yeah. a, a, is that not, is that not worse than what Jonathan and Joey You've it's been there, and I, I, I you and I have both been there. You, you and I in our lives have both been there. We, you and I have both made mistakes, and I accept that from my part, and I know you well, and <laughs> you've accepted it from your part. And my God, I can tell people who are listening this morning, if anyone has tried to change his life and make amends for what he's done in the past, it's a man I'm talking to right now, Joey Barton. Joey, I, I want to finish with this. I'm looking at Twitter at the moment. The word vile in terms of what Flanagan did is, is cropping up a lot. And uh, Liverpool Magistrates Court heard yesterday that he slammed his partner, Rachel Wall, against a wall and he kicked her while she was on the floor. Now, John Flanagan will today, as I said earlier, be sitting with his head in his hands. Mm. But what is the next... That's indefensible, mate. That's indefensible. So if if it's indefensible, what should the club do? Well, I don't know. I'm not in charge of the football club, but if I'm saying off the precedent that we've set before... As I say, Firmino, three times over the drink drive limit. What's the difference between Roberto Firmino and uh, the boy who was, remember the goalkeeper a while back who was 
went to a wedding the next day. He'd had a couple of he'd had a couple of drinks at the wedding. Next day, uh, he was driving his car home. Yeah, I remember. On the motorway, he was over the, the, li- the limit, crashed yeah. his car, and, and unfortunately, terribly, uh, yes. it, with the accident involved the two young yeah. Man United fans. The ki- that boy was put in jail for manslaughter. Yeah. The difference between him and Firmino is he he'd slept on his drink, and Firmino didn't crash his car, but but. He was driving a car three times over the drink drive limit. Mm, mm. You know, is, is that way? I'm not trying to con- compare incidents, but is that worse than what John's done? I, I mean, you know, I'm not defending John. It's indefensible to, to get involved in the way he has done and, and um, yes, go yes. to court. It, you can't defend that, but no. he's made a mistake. They like, you know, Jim, we, we've all been on a night out and made mistakes. Oh, yeah. We've all been, you know, John isn't the first boy to do that. And, mm-hmm. you know, as I say, I, I don't know what's going on because... And, and and we can't defend it because you can never condone. Joey, uh, Bob, Bob Mills has got a very quick point for you. Hang on, Joey. Sorry, very very quickly because you made a, a really uh, huge point halfway through this, which which I've been thinking about. Are we? We're talking about a commodity thing here. Let's not beat about the bush. The difference between Firmino and uh, uh, and 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 John Flanagan is about sixty million quid, isn't it? For the for the two teams involved. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're correct, there. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Right. Uh, this is what this is what it boils down to. Look, I've been on the other. I've been on it where. I probably haven't been sacked because I've had value as a piece of meat. That's what we are. Let's not, let's not. You see Coutinho go out, he's £142 million piece of meat. Mm. That's the reality. You know, we want to boil it down. Football players are role models, clubs love it. On the whole, we're all pieces of meat in the machine. We know that. It's part of the game. And when you go another piece of meat, will replace you. That's the nature of the industry. Um, the reality of the situation is if we want to we want to just still this down as quick as we can straightforward it's not John Flanagan who's been involved in the same incident exactly the same get the same community service whatever etc etc let's take John Flanagan's name out of it let's say it's Mohamed Salah or Virgil mm. van Dijk would we still have the same clamour to get rid of the boy to sack him mm. of course you wouldn't no. let's let it's because he's suffering with injury he's not in the first team picture and it's easy to Make an example of someone when that's the case. Just a quick if one, Joey. Jo- to do that, Jonathan on Twitter is saying, uh, yeah, that said, if Flanagan was a police officer, a teacher, a fire officer, or a paramedic, he'd be sacked. Yeah, but well, if he's he, sorry, if he, he was a postman or a on. plumber or a bricklayer, he wouldn't be. You wouldn't even know. Well, you wouldn't know about it. No. You wouldn't hmm. know about it. So, it, unless it was a high ranking person, you wouldn't know. It wouldn't be in the public domain because I guarantee you, wrongly, rightly or wrongly, that that happens. It's quite a common thing to happen. People arguing with the partner on a night out, a few drinks in them, and they get into an altercation. Maybe the police don't get involved all the time, but, you know, is John the first person to have a drunken argument with his partner in town? No, sure, uh, you know, sure. We can't defend what's happened afterwards. And as I say, Jim, I went, I went there going off here, say, of the court. And yes, I had to yeah. The CCTV, so it's difficult to judge what's gone on other than it's wrong. You know, we know it's wrong because sure. you should never, you can, can never condone striking uh, a female it's just wrong okay Joey um, listen I, I really appreciate you coming on this morning and speaking about this especially as you know the lad and uh, no doubt you'll okay, be in touch Jim, with him today can I just get on? He's, a, he's, he's a great kid yeah. a great professional a really yeah. good kid he's messed up uh, we, we've got to help him we've got to try and rehabilitate him he's not a bad kid well we're gonna have to sit down and figure it right through if we're only human what more can we do? The only thing to do is eat humble pie. Sometimes we cry.